I went to school originally to be a composer and got interested in scoring for film and video. You know, not just from a sound and music standpoint, but really was interested in uh, the things that were going on visually and how to really get my hands around the entire piece that was being done. My name is David Kreitz and I own a boutique post-production facility in Louisville, Kentucky named Glyph. A lot of the work that I do is larger multi-screen exotic format installations. The California Science Center was an interesting project because it had really a little bit more CG integrated with it. Natural phenomena and that kind of thing and working them in to match um, actual photography of things that had been done, you know, so things had to be integrated very tightly and in a very realistic way where the effects really don't look like effects so much. People are pretty sophisticated as an audience, you know, and they, they're used to seeing, you know, feature films and high-end effects on television all the time. And uh, that stuff has definitely worked its way into the museum world. Uh, people, when they go to these places, are expecting to be wowed, you know, by things. And it's uh, always a challenge to really kind of meet those expectations. When I heard that smoke was coming out of the Mac, I, I didn't even really download the trial. I just wanted to buy it, you know, and I, and I did. Um, and I haven't looked back ever since. I mean, it was, uh, I think, one of the smartest purchases I've ever made. I guess the best analogy I can think of for smoke is kind of like a Swiss Army knife. You know, no matter what you're trying to do, um, the tool you need is, is there to deal with and, and handy. It gives you a, a kind of freedom that uh, I find you don't have in a lot of other, other systems that I've had to work on in the past. Well, before I had smoke, my process was do the creative cut and final cut usually. I would then take things into After Effects, and uh, once it was there, um, you've kind of lost your real-time ability to uh, kind of look at your edit. I look at having smoke now compared to what I was dealing with at that point in time, and, you know, I mean, it's, <laughs> you, can't, you can't even compare it trying to integrate different techniques, different types of footage, different effects. These things that you've got rolling around in the back of your mind all the time is a huge concern of mine. There's been more than one occasion where uh, somebody brings something in, has to shoot it on green screen in the morning. They hand it off to me and in smoke I go in and uh, take care of the keying, whatever else, and take care of the project and it's out the door by the end of the day. The clients like that a lot also, being able to have that flexibility. Pretty much any idea that they're going to come up with, I feel like I can try to tackle that in some way. And you're actually showing them results immediately, you know, from what the input that they're giving you. And I think that's uh, tremendously valuable to a lot of clients. Whatever the task is to accomplish what it is you want to do, it's really just a couple of uh, strokes of the stylus away. And result is huge because then I know, well, I can steal a little time from that and put it into the creative thought, you know, and that's going to actually allow me to create something that I might not have come up with otherwise. You know, so smoke is a tremendous tool for creativity. It really allows you to experiment freely and know at the end of the day that what you're going to get out the other end is going to be something that everybody's going to be happy with.